My name is Yusuf Zeno. In my late twenties, I worked as a paramedic at the Palestinian Red Crescent. On the evening of Monday, January 29th, the atmosphere was gloomy, with the sky obscured by clouds of war ashes and sorrow. Prepared to go to work after a few hours of a rare break I spent at my house, where I had hardly stayed since the start of the occupation's aggression on Gaza on October 7th, I sent a voice message to my uncle residing in Nablus in the West Bank to reassure him about our well-being, confirming that we are still alive. Then, I greeted my mother and my sister, who are staying with me in Khan Yunus. After that, I headed to work. As with every shift at work since the beginning of the war, I awaited in a state of full alertness, with hardly a few minutes passing before we received reports of massacres here and bombings there, accompanied by lives being lost and innocents being taken away. On this night, I received a call from the relief coordination officer in the combat zones, who said to me, Yusuf, we have succeeded in coordinating the rescue of the little girl Hend, who was trapped inside her family's car. Before that, I had known that Hend might be the sole survivor of a massacre in which members of her family were martyred after their car was targeted in the vicinity of the finance roundabout in Tal Al Hawa neighborhood. She remained in contact with her uncle via phone to seek help. I was ready to go and rescue the little girl, even without coordination. My colleague Ahmed Al Madun, who has another story worth telling, and I jumped into the ambulance, quickly navigating through its malfunction and the treacherous destroyed roads. But we finally reached where Hen's car was located. As we were preparing to descend with the ambulance stretcher and head towards the car, an Israeli tank approached us. Suddenly the ground shook and the sky changed color, mirroring what had happened to Hen and her family. However, we did not know who had preceded the martyrdom, me and my colleague Ahmed, or the little girl Hind. 